Hello and welcome to this episode of Hampton Roads Business Live. My name is Rory Graham and I'm your host and today we have with us Lee Sheridan from Two Maids and a Mop in Virginia Beach. Welcome. How you doing Rory? I'm doing fine. Great. Why don't we, I'm, I'm sure most people can tell by the title uh, 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 that you have a maid service, but why don't you just give us an overview? Sure. Uh, so we are a residential cleaning service. We do light commercial work. Uh, we are located in Virginia Beach, but we do handle the south side. Um, we are licensed, bonded, insured. Uh, all my employees go through a 50-state background check as well as a full motor vehicle review before they come on board for a, uh, for a, a week-long training. Um, and quite honestly, I, I just I don't hire anybody I wouldn't let in my own house. Um, we have a lot of different packages, uh, so it depends on, on really what you're looking for. We serve several different types of demographics. Um, but we have several different packages that pretty much fit any circumstance or any price range. All right, so before you started this, you were in corporate America. Correct. And um, what caused you to want to leave that and start this? So I was in corporate America for, for about 20 years, and for about the last 10 years, I, I spent a lot of time on the road. Uh, I have a great family. I got a wonderful wife and, and two girls, a uh, 15-year-old and a 16-year-old. Um, and I was gone. Uh, I would leave Monday morning, uh, get back Thursday, maybe Friday. I traveled about 60% of the time. Hmm. Uh, so I was a part-time father, part-time husband, uh, part-time landscaper, part-time repairman, <laughs> um, part-time everything. Uh, but I was a full-time employee. And, and I realized uh, when my girls got to a certain age uh, that it just wasn't going to work. Uh, that lifestyle wasn't going to work. My wife uh, is in corporate America as well. She has the, the she's lucky enough to work from home uh, and she doesn't travel as much as she used to. Uh, so we really kind of made a decision that it wasn't going to work anymore. And uh, I had met the CEO of, of Two Maids and a Mop uh, and we developed a relationship and, and we maintained that relationship for quite some time. And I realized uh, after, quite honestly, after the holidays in 2016, uh, that it was time to, to move on. So uh, I reached out to the CEO and, and uh, I made a graceful exit from corporate America and, and, and really have not looked back since. Okay, well I know from talking to you that you're happy with which, that decision. So Very happy, yeah. yeah. So let's talk about uh, the company. What makes it different? There's a lot of cleaning services out there. So what makes your company different? Sure. I think primarily it is that we are licensed, bonded, and insured. Um, I'm not certain everybody knows what that means and the impact of it, um, but coming from an, an insurance background, I understand you know what that looks like when something goes wrong and, and you may not have the, 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 the insurance to cover those losses. So we're covered. Um, again, everybody goes through a 50 state background check. We're, you know, again, I don't let anybody in, in your house that I wouldn't let in my house. We also do something that, that I think is, is pretty special. We support an organization called Cleaning for a Reason. We do free cleanings for women battling cancer in Hampton Roads. Uh, we don't charge those patients, and my teams get paid a full commission on that. Well, that's nice. It is, and, and we've handled, uh, we, we've taken care of about 29 customers, patients, uh, since we opened, uh, and we're having our anniversary, our two-year anniversary. Uh, it'll be April 17th, so coming up shortly. Um, so I think that sets us apart. And then probably one of the biggest things when you look at it from an industry perspective, we have what's called a pay for performance system. So when we're done cleaning your home, we send you a text message uh, asking for a rating on a scale from one to 10, as well as any feedback you can provide us. That rating helps us determine the compensation for the team that cleaned your home. So there's a built-in incentive plan for the team to do a good job um, provide a good quality product, provide good customer service, and make sure that they essentially leave your house a lot better than they found it. Um, so really when we put all those things together, it, there is a significant difference. And, and we communicate quite a bit with our customers. So before we come to your house, we send you a text message the day before, advising you of the time, asking you if there's anything specific you'd like us to focus on. And when we do get those responses, those responses get put into your customer profile. So we communicate openly, we communicate often so that we make sure we're providing you with what you're looking for. Uh, a lot of other companies do have cookie cutter type programs and products. That, that doesn't work in the environment that we live in. 
Um, we are a military trusted business. We understand that some folks are deploying and, and literally you've cut the help in your house you know, in half. Uh, we can come in and help out with certain aspects that you know, otherwise you, know, you would be able to do on your own and we can do that at an affordable price. Um, so there's, there's a lot of things I think when you look at them uh, you know, and, and, you know, as a whole really set us apart from the rest of the industry. Uh, so you talked about being in corporate America and <coughs> how that was. How has it been now that you're not in corporate America and you wish you have your own company? It's uh, it's different. It, there's there's a significant. Yeah, there it, it's, yeah, it, it is, is different. It is different. There's there's still stress, um, you know, but I, I I do love this area. Uh, when I was in corporate America, I moved around quite a bit, um, and and this is the only area that I've ever come back to. Um, so we like it here. Uh, we, we really do. We've been here since 2001. Well, actually, originally I was here in 98, left for a couple years, came back in 01. Um, and, and we really, really like the area. The biggest difference of having this business versus being in corporate America is well, I, get, I get to sleep in my own bed at night on mm -hmm. a regular basis. Uh, I get to see my kids and my wife every day. Um, I get to contribute in the community. I get to enjoy my community, which, which is something that Quite honestly, I was more of a visitor here than I was a resident for several years. Mm -hmm. um, so I really get to enjoy the benefits of this area, which I, I wasn't able to do. Um, and it's, it's a little bit different environment when, you know, what you do is for yourself and for your family. And, and you know, and I give the analogy that, you know, in corporate America, somebody's going to hand you a meal every, you know, every day or every, every two weeks or whatever it is. Um, here you need to go out, hunt, and, and kill, and cook, and prepare your own food. As yeah, I tell power. people the highs are incredibly high, and the lows are incredibly low. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> so you know, it's up the, and down. But the, the good thing about what I'm seeing, what I'm experiencing, is that I've dealt with people for a long time, um, and it's different when there's you know when there's there's a policy or a contract or things like that in between you. When there really isn't anything in between you, that, then it's just about your ability to manage people and your ability to be empathetic to people's situations. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm learning is is uh, it, it's a, it's a different game when when it is your business and the flexibility and, and the services that I'm I'm willing to provide and, and the links that we're willing to go to to help out the community and folks that need it. Um, yeah, it's it's stressful. Um, mm -hmm. You know, they're long days, but at the end of the day, I still go home. So well, that makes uh, it all worth it. Huh? That's a big deal, sure. Uh, and and so, what what sort of recognition um, have <clears throat> you acquired here since opening? So we've won. Um, Cova Business uh, gave us a Community Impact Award uh, this past year for our work with the cancer patients and cleaning for a reason. Uh, we've also won uh, a few awards uh, with regards to cleaning for a reason for our local uh, work here with cancer patients. Um, from a franchise perspective, we were the fastest growing franchise in uh, 2017. Uh, so we did win an award uh, internally. Um, so there's, you know, we've, we've been recognized. We've also, we were also recognized by some local TV stations for the work that we've done with our, 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 our patients. Uh, so those, those, those are great, um, and quite honestly, it goes a long way with regards to morale. It goes a long way with um, you know developing my team and, and making sure they understand that that you know we do provide a service, um, and that you know when it gets recognized, it's it's pretty uh, pretty beneficial. So let's talk about who you do this for. Who's your ideal customer? So in Hampton Roads, you know the demographics here you know span from one end to the other. Um, so if I were to identify my ideal customer it, it would it would be it would have been my family five years ago uh, so both parents working you know kids that are in sports or in dance things like that um, you know our days started at 6 a.m. they didn't end till nine o'clock at night you know picking up people from practice or grabbing something to eat um, so we had long days and our weekends were you know, if we had uh, a tournament or we had something like that, our, our weekends were, were, were consumed with things that we had to do. And if we didn't have anything to do, we wanted to do something we wanted to do. Um, cleaning wasn't on the short list. Um, so, but we found time to do it and, and it was somewhat stressful. So back then we did get a service so that we can have some more time. Uh, and like I said earlier, you know, I made my wife a single parent for, for quite some time. Uh, so it was something that was, you know, we were able to give ourselves a little bit more time back in the day. So 
if I were to identify my ideal customer, it would be those, you know, dual parent households where everybody's working, everybody's going in opposite directions. Um, that's probably our ideal. But we also have several other demographics that, that we work with. Um, as you know, in Norfolk, it's, it's an up-and-coming you know, city and, and there's a lot of business in there. We have a lot of young millennials that are starting their careers. Um, they live in one-bedroom, two-bedroom apartments and they're working 60 hours a week and they don't want to clean their place either. So there's a demographic that we provide services to. Uh, same thing with you know, some of our seniors that, that are in the area. Unfortunately, they're just not able to maintain their homes anymore, but they want to stay in their home. Uh, so we can develop, uh, you know, essentially we can develop some services that we can manage that and help them out. Uh, empty nesters are, are a huge part uh, of what we do. Empty nesters, just they have, they can afford it and they don't want to do it. And so we have a lot of customers we're in there weekly um, and they really only use half the house anyway because the kids are gone. There's two or three bedrooms they're not using, two or three bathrooms they're not using. So, you know, we're able to develop a program for them as well. So. You know, there's, there's a lot of different demographics that we, that we can provide services to, and the good thing is there's a product and there's enough flexibility in what we do, and that's another thing I have in your own business is that, you know, there's, there's, there's no parameters as far as I'm concerned. It's, uh, it's, it's not like I have to offer this or have to offer that. I can ask the questions, what do you, what do you need and what's your budget, and let's figure it out. Um, and a lot of customers are, you know, they're, they're glad to hear that. Right. Okay, so now, you, you know, we've heard all about before we've heard about how you're doing now and everything uh, uh, would you do it again and if you if if you had to do it again what would you do differently so yeah I would do it again in a uh, in a minute um, I grew up in a family of entrepreneurs my father had restaurants catering businesses um, he owned several houses he had, he had properties my mother is a, uh, a Cuban refugee um, and she had a deli she had a, a hair salon uh, so I grew up as an entrepreneur, as an entrepreneur's son. Um, and so <clears throat> in corporate America, you know, I always felt like a little bit of a fish out of water. Mm. So I knew I wanted to do this. This this just provided the great opportunity to it's do just so. The vehicle to use, it yeah. was the great vehicle to do that. Um, so yeah, I would I would do it again. The regret I have is probably I didn't do it sooner. Right. Um, right. And, and now I think that's I'm, what all of us think. You know, right. once you've done it and you've succeeded in doing it, you right. say, "Boy, I wish I'd done this before." Yep. Yep. Because none it. of us want to go back. <laughs> no, and that's uh, <laughs> I don't think. And well, I won't say none of us, but most of us don't. Want right. To go back. And it's it's a uh, again. Uh, I'm thankful for the career I had in insurance. I'm thankful for the people I met and the things I learned and the places I I, I, I was able to to go to. Um, and that chapter's closed, and, and now another one's open. And what's good is that I feel this is something that, and my, my kids, while they're not necessarily involved, they are interested. Um, and, and I think it, they, they're, they like to see that their father's home. I hope they like to see that their father's home. Mm -hmm. um, and it's something that they like to see the growth, and they like to hear the stories, and they like to see the things that we do. Um, so it's something that I think I can probably hand down um, if it's something they're interested in, or at, at least hand down the observation of the experience that, that I'm having um, through this change. Okay, well, is there anything else I haven't mentioned? That's all my questions. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay. I, I don't think yeah, so. I appreciate it. You've been it. pretty thorough. i got to hand it to okay. you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay, so if you find yourself in the need of a maid uh, service or you know someone who, who uh, could use that, uh, you could give them a call. Um, their contact information is at the end of this video and at the bottom of this page. Uh, so I appreciate you for coming on and I uh, wish you a great deal of success. Thank you. I appreciate right. it. Thank you. Thank you.